meeting is uh, absolutely unique in this. It's looking at the frontiers. So it's looking at 2018. What have we learned? Where are the frontiers? How are we going to change the future? Which are the new findings that will be in the next years coming to fruition and make a tangible change, not only for the physicians, but for the patients and the society in general? So what we are looking at in prostate cancer, certainly active surveillance, low risk cancer, better imaging, more targeted therapies, and a smarter approach to a patient to deliver the precision medicine, the personalized medicine, that means the right therapy for the right patient at the right time. Today I'll be talking about uh, pro the use of uh, MRI in the diagnosis of clinically localized prostate cancer, primarily uh, examining the genomic uh, profile of those prostate cancers you can see and cannot see by MRI. I will talk about the value of lymphadenectomy at the time of radical prostatectomy. My topic was on the role of active surveillance in the management of men with low-risk prostate cancer. The surgery still has a role in management of uh, kidney cancer, but we need to understand how to select our patients better, and we need to understand the timing. The topic was about radiomics, that is an emerging field uh, with an annual related publication that has rose from uh, almost nothing to uh, 400 publication in uh, less than five years. about improving outcomes in kidney cancer. This is my, my speciality, kidney cancer. And we have seen in the last few years a lot of uh, advances with immunotherapy, checkpoint inhibitors coming up and uh, for the treatment of our patients. And actually the outcome of our patients has really dramatically improved since using these agents. of small meetings is that it can be more interactive. Every uh, attendant has the opportunity to talk with other attendings and with the speakers, so it's, uh, it allows a very intensive discussion of uh, controversial topics. Meetings like this have a lot of advantages because you have the experts in different fields of urology all together to discuss different options, different new innovations. Um, usually in big meetings you have so many concurrent sessions that it's not possible to see all different aspects of urology and this is a big advantage of these smaller meetings here. kind of meeting there's much more opportunity for interaction, for questions, for discussion. I think in some ways uh, you get the participants attention uh, more so than with a very large group and I think there's an opportunity to have a much more personal kind of interchange. In these local meetings you can bring people together and especially this meeting is very high because the uh, speakers are well known from all over the world. You have, you have the world-class medicine in Vienna, you have a close contact with them. These are all great personalities, great urologists, you can exchange your knowledge, but I think first of all, if you're that close to such, such, such great, great colleagues in urology, you can have an interaction, but you cannot have on the bigger one.